aren't you sweet? No, you're sweeter. No, you are. Okay, Kim, you win. I'm the sweetest. All right, I'll talk to you. Bye. That was sickening. New girlfriend? No, phone company. Hey, could you get on the cable company for me? Yeah, they charged me for several adult films, which I thoroughly enjoyed, but I did not order. Yo, this girl was one in a million. She was funny, she was smart, she had a sexy voice. I'm telling you, Gordon, if I didn't have six other options for Valentine's Day, I'd get with her. But Jay, I got my own Valentine's Day problems. I mean, last year, I gave Sherry a diamond engagement ring. I don't think a box of chocolates is gonna top that. I've seen the ring, Gordon. Make it a five-pound box and you're covered. <laughs> Day is to be home alone with the man I love. Oh, that's good. <laughs> You're talking about me, right? <laughs> yes, sweetie. And please, please, no, Jay. He has an uncanny way of ruining a holiday. Remember the 4th of July? <laughs> Although, in Jay's defense, your sister was standing too close to the barbecue. <laughs> Whatever. All I care about is that you and I spend a little time together uninterrupted. Okay. Hey, scoot over, scoot over, what? scoot over. <laughs> It's Valentine's Day, and I have my pick of dates. It's out of control this year, seriously. I don't know what to do. It's like I'm the coach of an all-star team, and I don't know who to put in the game. Jay, these are women, not athletes. Oh, if you can bend like Heather, you're an athlete. <laughs> Hello, counselor. Lovely Sherry. Oh, this... uh, chili fries for three. It's like a dry run for Valentine's Day, huh? <laughs> Please. I will be partying until the wee hours of the night at the Shark Room. Well, so will my date and I. Lucky for you, they sell single tickets. Trust me, I will have a very hot date. I am just narrowing down my choices. Okay, Jay, well, go ahead. The internet is a big place. <laughs> so is Chicago. Can't you eat somewhere else? <laughs> now, as I was saying, how do you choose from six of the city's most eligible women? Eligible? For what? Parole? <laughs> I can assure you, Marcus, my day will outclass any bimbo you show up with. Bimbo? Oh, I'm sorry. She's probably too dumb for that. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? We will see come Valentine's Day. What is it with you guys? Why does it have to be about getting the hottest date? I mean, isn't Valentine's Day about being with someone you enjoy? Yes. And you enjoy yourself more with a hot date. <laughs> Which is exactly the reason I am dating her. Page 12, Victoria's Secret catalog. <laughs> wow. Mm, she couldn't get the cover, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, I was just looking at her bra. It's half off this week. Really? Yeah. Well, it was all off last night. <laughs> she was probably tying her clothes together so she could escape out the window. <laughs> We should do this again on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. Veterans Day. Mm, don't forget Columbus Day. Mm -hmm. There is still a whole lot more of you I would like to explore. <laughs> well, let me go back. Hi, this is Jay. Leave a message. Hi, Jay, it's Heather. <laughs> it was really good hearing from you. I'd love to be with you on that. Um, um, what she meant to say was Valhalla holiday. It's a, it's a Norwegian holiday where they celebrate the birth of Thor, you know. Hello, Heather. Yeah, this is Jay's other Valentine. Uh-huh. I'll tell him. Heather won't be able to make it for Valhalla day. Heather's out. <laughs> and neither will I. Oh, but we're still on for Columbus Day, though, right? We go. I can't believe it's Valentine's Day, and I don't have a date. This, this is totally inconceivable. 
dumped by six women in one day. <laughs> Boy, that's gotta be some kind of record. <laughs> I mean, even I've never been dumped by six women. That's because you've never known six women, Gordon. <laughs> hey, four aunts, a cousin, and my mother. That's six right there. <laughs> and just for that little comment, I'm not gonna show you the gift I got for Sherry, no. Uh-uh. Who can I call? I'm serious, I'm, I'm not gonna show you this. Somebody, I know there's got to be somebody. You see, it's a book. <laughs> the sexiest night of your life, yeah. It's a step-by-step -step guide to romancing your partner. So it begins with begging and it ends with apologizing? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but you know, as a special treat, you're never gonna guess what Shari gets at the end of the book. Oh, nothing I wanna visualize. No, here, let me show you this. <laughs> no, no, uh-uh. <laughs> They're diamond earrings. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna tape them to the last page of the book. Oh, that's good. Yeah. At least Sherry will get something out the evening. Oh, hey, Jay. Hey. Shouldn't you be getting ready for your big Valentine's showdown with Marcus? I should be, but I've reconsidered. I think you're right, Sherry. Valentine's Day is actually about spending time with people you enjoy. You got dumped? Six times. Who's counting? <laughs> Just figured I'd stay here and crash with you guys. No, yep. no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. There's got to be someone that will go out with you on Valentine's Day. I've called every woman I know. But what about the sexy phone operator? You know, the one you were sweet-talking? No, you're sweet. No, you're sweeter. What? She did have a sexy sound to her. Mm, and you know what? She said she'd done some modeling, too. So call her. It's not like I have her phone number. It's zero. <laughs> right. How many Kim's gonna be working for the phone company? 47 Kims? <laughs> All right, give me the extensions. So, Kim number 24, how long have you been working for the phone company? Uh, that long? Only eight phones in Chicago back then. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Kim. But I'm looking for a female Kim. 38. <laughs> Kim, is that you? Yes, Kim! Oh, my gosh! This is Jay Frazier. I've been looking up... Kim? Kim? <laughs> Hello? Oh, thank God, Kim. Oh. How did you get my phone number? Right, right. You work for the phone company. <laughs> Chapter one. The sensual dinner. We begin with the appetizer. Ooh, when do we get to the main course? <laughs> Honey, don't be so horny. <laughs> now, we have to follow every step in this book in order to fulfill our full romantic potential. Can't we just do it? <laughs> okay, step one. You take the banana, dip it in the whipped cream, and feed it to me while I feed you the kiwi. Oh, yeah. Wait, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> oh, you're right. I was looking at it the wrong way. <laughs> Lucky I didn't make that mistake later. Someone could have been injured. Come on. You are even more beautiful than I imagined. Oh, and so are you. These are for you. Oh, Marcus, what happened to your supermodel? She flaked. <laughs> oh, a shame. Oh, but I see you got yourself a hot replacement. <laughs> That's my mama. <laughs> Mother Whitworth. <laughs> Who? Kim. No. <laughs> Jay. I'm Kim. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. 
I should have brought a bigger box of chocolates. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was really looking forward to meeting you too. <laughs> I mean, not, not that I'm not looking forward to. Hey, take the chocolates. Take, take. I love chocolate. Eat the chocolates. <laughs> Eat the chocolates. <laughs> you know what? Um, why don't we go inside, grab a quiet place in the back, and just chew the fat? <laughs> I mean, I mean, talk. No, <laughs> just talk. Yeah, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, okay, uh, you know what? On second thought, why don't we go to someplace else? What? Why? This is supposed to be the hottest place in town. Well, yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was last week. It's passe now. We just... Uh, Jay! <laughs> is that you, Jay? Oh, uh, Marcus, hey. I didn't see you. Yeah, I almost didn't see you either. <laughs> How you doing? I'm, I'm Marcus. This is, uh, this is Rebecca. Hi, I'm Kim. I know you from somewhere. You're a model, right? Yes, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I used to model too. Plus sizes. <laughs> now, I'll let you lose a few pounds and suddenly the phone just stops ringing. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom and throw up. What? You haven't even had anything to eat yet. I had half a mint in the car. <laughs> I better go with her and make sure the hand dryer doesn't blow her away. Oh, Jay, um, man, I, when you said you had six women to choose from, I didn't realize they were all in the same body. Oh, Gordon, this feels so good. Yeah. Can we skip ahead to the end? Look, Sherry, the book specifically says you must perform every step in order to achieve maximum romance. Look, in the event you're not completely satisfied, there's a money-back guarantee. So either way, I score. <laughs> I'll get that. Hello. Gordon, oh, man, you have got to come down here and rescue me. What, Jay, you don't, you don't like your date? Date? She's more like the whole millennial. <laughs> now, look, get your butt down here. Jay, I can't leave now. Sure, you'll kill me. Okay. I don't want to play this card, Gordon, but you remember the Maloney twins incident? You remember? Damn you! You can't play that Maloney card. Not now! <laughs> you know, you've been holding this over my head for years. All right, if I come down there and do this for you, we are even. Whatever. Hurry. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, man. <laughs> um, oh, that, chapter four, step one. Sexual cleansing. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is highly erotic for both parties to bathe separately, so... You go on, Lufa. Okay, what about you? I'm good. <laughs> so I asked the weirdo where he's phoning from, and he says Alpha Centauri. <laughs> that must have been an expensive call. <laughs> well, Jay, you want to dance? You know, I'm really not much of a dancer. Oh, that's all right, baby. I'll leave. <laughs> See why you're drawn to her? Gravity. Listen, Marcus. I got... Woo! You're not such a bad dancer. Yeah, you're kind of light on your feet for a phone operator. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, hey! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Never been thrown around like that before. I have to admit it. I like it. You're an easy man to throw around. God, I found you. My car broke down in the middle of the freeway. What do I look like? A mechanic? I'm on a date here. But the car's on fire. 
and the nuns and, and, and puppies are locked inside. <laughs> Why don't you go help him? No, 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 no. This happens to him all the time. What? Let me speak to you. I'll be right back. Well, your date is kind of a porker, isn't she? Would you show a little sensitivity, please? Sorry. Look, Kim is actually very cool, and I'm having a nice time, so I've changed my mind. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. I leave Shari at home soaking in the tub hot for me, and you want to stay? No, no, I'm not leaving unless you come with me. So, Sherry is naked and in the mood, and you want me to come home with you? It's a good point. I'll see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you like me to uh, get you a drink? Uh, what happened to the nuns and the puppies? Oh, that's, that's just the name of his band. <laughs> Jay, I know he was here to bail you out. <laughs> No, oh, no, 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 that guy's crazy. He's a total loon. I mean, didn't you see his hat? <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's a blind date. Uh, we didn't get a chance to check each other out. And no matter what people say, physical attraction is important. So, I understand if you want out. It's Valentine's Day. Kim, the only thing I want this Valentine's Day is to dance the evening away with you. Let's go. No, wait, 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 wait. Now, can you can you throw me around like you were doing? I like that. I was okay. Ooh, you put a lot on that one. <laughs> oh boy. Do you look clean? <laughs> Flowers? Why do I think whatever you were just doing had something to do with Jay? No, honey. I wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for him. Not the Maloney twins thing again. You know, Gordon, if you couldn't fight off two 10-year-old girls, then you deserve to die. Hey, Connie and Bonnie each weighed more than I did. You know, all I wanted for Valentine's Day was an evening alone with no interruptions. Uh, honey, you are right. So let me make it up to you. We will skip right to chapter 10, the climax. How about we skip to chapter 11, release pent-up sexual tension? No! <laughs> there was a surprise at the end. Well, next time you want to surprise me, try diamond earrings. <laughs> Kim, I had a really great time. Oh, Jay, I had a good time, too. Oh, hey, folks, any big plans for later? If you don't mind, Marcus, I would like to be alone with my date. Oh, okay. Well, you guys go ahead and be alone. I'm gonna go ahead and be alone with my date. Where is she? I saw her eyeing a breadstick. That probably sent her running back to the bathroom. <laughs> no, there she is with some guy. <laughs> I'll bet that's the most she's had in her mouth all year. You know, Kim, I was wondering, would you like to go out again sometime? Oh, Jay, I think you are a really great guy. Oh. So, and I wish things could be different, but um, to be honest with you, I'm not attracted to you. Physically, I mean. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're rejecting me because of my looks? I'm sorry, I, I'm just not into scrawny man <laughs> scrawny well you know what i mean i like beefy guys like your friend with the nuns and the puppies he moved. <laughs> but, but you said you had a good time with me i did i just can't help the way i feel the physical attraction just isn't there but I like you as a friend. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't hit me with the F word. Oh, no. You have a great personality. Enough, enough, okay? No congeniality prizes. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. You know, Kim, there are more important things than looks. Like two people connecting. But I guess we'll never know that, will we? I'll see you, Kim. Wait.
Nope. I was right the first time. <laughs> Nothing. Call me. I just had the best and worst Valentine's Day of my life. And we'll hear about it tomorrow. Get out. Wait, Jay. Check out my new earrings. Ooh, those are nice. Bling, bling. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I went through every chapter in that book to get here. I want my sex. I'll give you Mr. Kim's number. Sure. You know what would really make those earrings pop? Hmm. That black cocktail dress you have with the sweetheart neckline? Oh, good idea. Mm. Good idea. <laughs> now, I got her into the bedroom. You just finish up, big guy. Thanks, buddy. You owe me again. Hi, right, fine, but we're done with the Maloney twins thing. Uh, I can't promise. 